My name is Tara Delaney Ritzko. I've been in the workforce for about 16 years and at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center for the last four. I earned my undergraduate degree from Penn State University in industrial engineering. And then after about eight or nine years in the workforce, I decided to get my master's in business administration from Johns Hopkins. I currently use my IE mindset to find efficiencies and develop process-based solutions uh, for NASA, especially regarding the space communications. I also uh, work with the communications team to translate technical data into the public domain, explaining the science, the engineering, and overall the technology to the general public. Uh, during my career, I've had a lot of support groups and mainly support people. There's been some amazing women who have looked out for me and men as well who have encouraged me to try new things. I made sure that from the start I had diverse mentors. Um, they were diverse both in age, in their passions, and their backgrounds, their education, and their careers. Um, through surrounding myself through the diversity, I was able to really make my own way in this world and find the right fit for me now that I'm this far along in my career. I think what's great about that is that I not only sought mentorship, um, but I'm sought out as a mentor as well. And that's again goes with older workforce members, younger workforce members, people who are changing their careers, students, you name it. I'm here for them, just like the leaders were there for me. Um, for future careers in STEM, I would say that one of the big things to think about is the merger of social sciences with technology. I know that all of you know about artificial intelligence, virtual reality, augmented reality, and things like that. I think when we start thinking about what the impact is, um, the social sciences, the sociology, the psychology, um, and overall the impact that we're providing to our world with the technology that we develop, that's going to be a very big deal as we continue to move forward. And with that, I would say, consider the cybersecurity. What's the privacy concerns? Um, and really, what are you doing to secure the data? And how is that data being used as we move to the future? So it's kind of one of the big things that I would think about if I was looking for a career in STEM right now. So if I had some advice for some up and coming girls in technology, I would say that, first of all, study to be well-rounded. Um, I mentioned social sciences because you really need to learn about the culture and the impact of what you're doing. If you're designing a piece of software, it's not necessarily just what the software does, but it's about what the user's experiencing when they're going through those things. Taking those social classes kind of helps you learn those ideas. Additionally, I would say be confident, but be humble. Um, keeping in mind that you don't know everything. You may be the smartest person in the room, but it doesn't mean that you know everything that everyone else knows. So making sure that you're humble um, and understand that you can make mistakes, but that you're gonna learn from them. That's the best thing you can do. And lastly, I would recommend that you be courageous. Make sure that you take risks only through taking risks can you find your own path and make a difference in this world.